don't know uh, how much the camera's going to be getting rained up here. But I've managed to bring Adam X Dance out of his environment of hard enduro. We're taking him on some snotty box instead. And I've got to use my knowledge of remembering where they are. It's just that one bit here. Wet as fuck. You go like straight here and then you cross over that dark line, go straight and then you join back onto the line then. Don't go into anything to the right of where we are now. Okay. Adam, go right over to the right of where we are now. <laughs> Actually, I, I'm, I'm thinking Adam will find it anyway. Again, there's no, there's no set thing, Alf. It's just max, like Adam says, maximum revs. Hot luck. <laughs> Felix came through before, what? And he just kept in that position and that throttle over the good bit as well. And it, it just gripped just like, it. I guess I'll go first. Yeah, nominate yourself. Please go over the bars. <laughs> right. All I'm going to do is just attack it. Here we go. That's how that's done. Now I get to watch all these guys come through. Oh, that is the best I've ever seen anyone come through there. Let's watch Alf come through. MTB Alf. Oh, <laughs> he's roosting. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> yes! I think there's some water in that carb. Ralph's not going fast enough. Get faster, 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 faster. Oh, <laughs> that was close. That close! Oh, dickhead. <laughs> it's not an enduro day without exploring. Oh, he's down already. Oh, God, my brakes! My brakes gone. Well, when they, when they go through shit like that, it goes on my brakes. Yeah, it does, yeah. Like, there's there's bog in between it. Good job I wore my fucking prisms today. Can't see shit. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. Oh, God. Whoop. You can hear my brakes squeaking because I got a little shit in it from that bog. And I doubt I'll be able to go fast enough anywhere to heat them up. So I'm gonna ride with them on a sl I'm riding with my front brake on slightly just to try and clean clean it up like. So like through here, I mean we've got the pro Adam X dance in front. If I can catch up to him, you'll see what he's doing. On his peg, that's gonna be everywhere. I don't think you stood up, sat down yet. Yeah? I'm sitting down now and I shouldn't be. Stand up through these, just keep moving. Just keep moving. That's the most critical thing in here. We stopped. It's gonna be hard to pull off now. See him spinning. Oh, I'm in a bad place. Now's when, now we get to see how, what sort of a man Adam Max Dance is. Is he gonna be nice? He's nice. He can come again. Oh, 
Ralphie would have fucking filled me in there. I need to take my goggles off, can't see. So while I've got everyone's attention, the 500 idea, I'm gonna have to pull out on it, unfortunately. The 500 has got a totally different chassis to, to this bike here. And the chassis on this bike is exactly why I like it. I just could do with a tiny bit more power. In here, this bike is perfect. But like when I'm racing um, hard in uh, when I'm racing Heron Hounds, I do need a little bit more power. That's why I thought 500 would be mint. But I hope everyone's listening now. I might get a two-stroke. Oh, as I stole the four-stroke. My bike right now, dry, is 102 kilos. A two-stroke, 105 kilos. So the two-stroke is three kilos heavier than the four-stroke. I, I can't get my head around that. But weight isn't everything, it's where the weight is. With this four-stroke, admittedly, the weight is quite high in the chassis of the frame. So that's why it feels a little heavier, but having the torque is more important than the weight, so let's go to a two-stroke that's heavier and less torquey. I don't, I don't know about that. I'm just going to have to buy one. It's the only way I'm going to have to do it. There's none in the country though, unfortunately. You weeded across that. Your friend didn't touch the floor. Oh, no, I didn't want it to fucking touch the floor of that. <laughs> but like, for a motocross bike, I don't get how it's got so much grip. All it's got is a moose. Right yeah, but his right hand ain't exactly tame either. Ah, <laughs> uh, you meant. <laughs> <laughs> he's nice and mellow because he's had one of them. Get it now, should try that one. It's all in the motion. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. I'm surprised you don't rip the hand straight off with the shovel hands that you've got. M like matacking every day. Gentle. <laughs> I've never broken anything in my life. You broke a frame yesterday. Apart from that. The fourth time you broke the frame. Insert clip of broken frame. <laughs> Look at the four stroke guy. Last time I came in here, Ralphie and uh, Midwest, their two strokes did better than this, but that was my fault. Plenty of clutch sitting down, my weight on the back. This is more like it for you, isn't it? I've <laughs> <laughs> never done it. Yeah, it's like there's loads of it in here. I enjoy riding my bike. You I enjoy watching you ride your bike. All right, let's go get stuck. There's a lot of yumpy bumpies in here. So it's 
sometimes you just pull back to get that front light. Always on the clutch. It's not enough for you. Or, So uh, I nominate Eva to go first. That's what uncle's jobs are to do. Make, make your nephew do it first. There's a little thing you're gonna hop. There's no line. Fuck, I hope I get it through now. <laughs> Whoa! Holy shit! On the front wheel, up the side. This is what I mean. Yeah, People coming right. in and fucking. This is disgusting. It's gone off the road, so you come to a dead end. Yeah, just. Whoever's done this needs to be fucking shot. You've brought it in with you. Take it out with you. <laughs> 